Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're back. We did it twice. It's a, it's, it's a tradition now. <laughs> if you do it, if you do things twice, it's a, it's, it's, it's a tradition. In our household. Well, yeah, I guess. And even if you don't do it the same way. <laughs> even if you don't do it with the same people, it's a tradition. So welcome back to the Real Talk with Devin Will. Uh, we got a lot of p- positive feedback on, on last week. And uh, we hope to continue to to help people and um, enlighten you and maybe sometimes just remind you of what you already know. A lot of being an adult, I found, I found is just being reminded of stuff that you already knew. And once you get reminded of that stuff, now you can act on it again. You feel empowered, and I hate that word, but empowered to act on it again because you already knew it in the first place. And, and now you're just happy that you're not the only one. You're thinking, well, maybe I was, maybe I was crazy. Well, it doesn't mean you're not crazy, because you could be insane. You could be criminally insane. But however, still, you, you, you do know what you know, and what's true is still true. So, again, thanks for coming back. Uh, thanks for sharing with your friends. Thanks for, for giving us the Facebook thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. Uh, and, and groups that you're in, possibly. Put the link in, uh, in, all, in every place that you are, like on Instagram or on Twitter, uh, Pinterest, wherever you happen to be. Uh, if, you, if you think what we're doing is valuable to you and... Um, has um, again has value. Share us with your friends. Share us with your enemies too. I'll hack them off on a Monday morning. <laughs> right, so, what are we going to talk about this evening? This morning, we are talking about dating with a purpose. Continued. Uh, we we touched on a little bit of this the uh, last week, uh, but the main thing we were talking with were younger people. Um, last week, but um, this week we're going to put it into um, focus on the people who um, you're really searching for a a mate in your life and you are, you have a purpose. You're not just dating for a sport or for the funding of it or, 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 you know, just to have a date on Friday and Saturday night of, of the week. You really want to have a spouse in your life. And as I said last week, there are some mature people who um, you may not want to to get married, and that's okay. Um, But if your um, ultimate goal is to have that that life partner, then um, you need to to have something, just search for it just like you do when you're searching for a job or you're looking for a, a, a college you got to have a purpose. Um, people always call it, well, I just want to wait for that person that I fall in love with. Um, you fall in love, really? I, I, it's kind of negative to me. If you're falling, then you giving in to that person. It should be a mutual agreement, a mutual partnership. Marriage is a partnership. And I think that's why so many of them fail is because people forget the that you signed a contract with this person the marriage vows um whether you make them up or you take them from the bible or you you know uh or you just say well we're gonna hook up you know all this stuff like that but vows are is a contract and you make it with we thought of it as making it with god and us so you don't want to give up on that contract um, what happens when you don't pay your car note? They come and get the car. What happens when you don't pay your mortgage? They foreclose on you. So if you don't work on paying, putting back, and being committed to your marriage, divorce. That's your ultimate goal. Well, it, again, you have to decide... Uh, what you have, you have to decide what what you want, and um, I think most people are, especially when you get older, you decide. You, you, it's it's kind of crazy because you would think that young people are the ones that can't decide what they want. Well, they can decide what they want. They just don't want the right thing half the time, uh, or they don't know the right thing to want. I think as an older person, you don't you you have to make that decision, um, and you have to you have to do some introspection. And introspection is hard. Looking at yourself, uh, you know, without any filters on, without any Instagram filters on, is very very difficult. And finding the person that you are first, and before you decide that you know what, yes, I want to be married, I want to have a spouse, I want, I don't want to live the rest of my life as a crazy cat lady. Um, then you have to decide who you are first, and um, and yes, marriage is it, 
is a partnership, but I'm going to tell the guy something. It's not really a partnership like Oprah says it's a partnership. It's about, it's about what you're willing to give up and not to do and not to be for the relationship. That's what it, that's that's what it is, you know. And 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 there's so and there seems like there's a negative connotation to that, but there really isn't because there's so much benefit on the other side. Uh, what you're willing to give up, what you're willing not to do. So if you're a person of a certain age, a guy of a certain age, and you've got a a lifestyle that you lead, and people will will say call it that you're you know what you're sort of stuck in your ways, and you you do you do, do do things a certain way. Um, are you willing to, 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 to not do that anymore? Are you willing to give up the Friday night poker game? Are you willing not to play basketball on Tuesday afternoon with, with the guys? Are you willing not to go play golf every Saturday or, and go find curtains instead? What are you willing to give up? I mean, any, you know what, and if we use the word, if we, if we use the word partnership, any partnership, some, somebody is giving something if the partnership is going to work. Um, yes. And, it, and what you can't be worried about necessarily is, well, what are you going to give up? You know, are you, are, you, are you going, but because both people have to understand that, that this thing is you're going to give up something for the most important thing that you're talking about. And the most important thing is the relationship. The most important thing is the marriage. What are you going to, what are you willing to give up? Uh, and this is when we get into problems where people, people say, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to settle. Well, it's not settling really. It's deciding how you fit. And some people may not be willing to give up anything. You may be so set in your ways, so to speak, that you that you are you are going to die the crazy cat, cat lady. And and if that's okay, if that's what you really want, then that's what it is. Uh, are you going to be the grumpy old man? <laughs> that's where because that's where you're going because you always want to get your way and do things how you want to do, and you're not willing to give anything. And frankly, like I said uh, said, said last week, if you're not will, willing to give, give anything, then do yourself and everybody else a favor. Leave everybody alone. Don't be messing with people just because you want to go out Saturday or you need a date for that um, uh, the NC, in, 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 NAACP dinner and you're leading people on. Stop. Just stop. If you're not willing, if you're not willing to, uh, to give anything, if you're not willing to change, then just leave people alone. Just go ahead and buy a dog. Yes. Because they will bite you, though. But they will bite you. But that's the first decision. Decide before you get people involved in your life, decide what your goal is in the search for a mate. Um, decide um, that you are willing to give up, like he said, willing to give up a, a few things. Because even in the dating process, this is where you start preparing for the marriage that you're seeking. Um, when you meet someone and you are, are dating and they have a certain way of doing things or, you know, he, like he said, he's going to be, he wants to go play golf on Friday, on Saturday morning and you want to, uh, go have breakfast so you can be ready to go to that movie in the afternoon or whatever like that. Um, when you, when you are, um, dating, um, that's how you learn the nature of someone. Um, that's why sometimes when people get married and they marry, you know, like a month or two after they've met and then they're with this person and you're like, well, I didn't know that you didn't want to do that or I didn't know you didn't like church. Um, I thought we were going to go to church on Sundays. I mean, come on, you got to be, you got to uh, tell these things to the, the person that you're going to get married to before you enter into a relationship that is a contract. So um, dating with a purpose, um, we go down there are several ways that you can look for a mate. A lot of people, you know, the church is the best place to go find somebody. If you're looking for a mate, you better find them in the church. Well, it, maybe, maybe there are heathens in the church as well. <laughs> And there, and there and there are men in the church that 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 the ch that church people call wolves. They just go to church. They come in and they find the, the little lamb and they call them from the flock and take them off because they've been told, especially men do it to women because because women have been told to to be proverbs proverbs thirty one women and and that has a lot to do with submission. And the Bible says that a wife is a good thing to find. So it sort of, everything lines up to, well, he found me here. And the, the, the assumption is that if he found me in church, 
then he must be a church person too. But there are a lot of wolves that go in, go in and out of churches uh, looking for young women or looking for women. Um, so it may be the best place. But all the things we're going to talk about still are still in play, whether you, whether you meet in a grocery store, whether you meet at work, whether you meet at mm-hmm. church. Uh, all the things that we're going to talk about are online. still in play. On, where all in play. <laughs> He's not too good with that online stuff, I don't think. Oh, well, you know. But um, there we're online are, now. <laughs> the the online, online is not an evil place, and the, a lot of the mature adults um, may you know stray away from that. But um, my feeling is, you know, there are uh, good people that are online looking for that mate and that that person that they want to commit to as well. And I have uh, friends that have that may have that met online, and um, it wasn't a bad experience for them. Um, even people that are not close by that you can date with. I mean, people have met people online and they communicate online and then they meet. And um, if you're in in prayer and, and you know what you know, so they, you know, God's looking out for you. So um, the internet is not an evil place. There are some, if you're a Christian, there are some Christian dating sites that you can um, sign up on and you know, communicate with people before you um, actually meet, but you have to be cautious. Um, they, there are wolves on the internet as well, just like in church. The, you know, just because they pay for that that site that they are on doesn't mean that they are truly committed to to searching for a good mate. So. Um, you have to be cautious in everything that you do, especially nowadays, because there are there are crazy people out there. <laughs> there are crazy people, so you have to be very. So again, all the things, all the things still that, that, that we talked about last week about protecting yourself and all the things that we and that, that we'll talk about in the future about taking care of, uh, and 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 folks, it's just not. It's just it, it, you know there isn't just the the crazy man out there. Some of y'all ladies are nuts too, absolutely yes. crazy, absolutely scary kind of crazy. So, um, so everybody who is searching for a mate, especially if you're searching online and, and you don't, and, and you aren't able to look in their eyes and see they got crazy eyes, because uh, some people have crazy eyes. Uh, then you have then you have to be very careful. You have to be very very cautious and very and maybe pretty standoffish until, um, until you actually get a chance to meet. Um, that kind of stuff. So just be, just be, just be really careful. And and and, and I don't know if you want to talk about that. If, but be really careful if you've got children. Oh yes. If you've got, ch- if there are children involved, if you are, say, in your late thirties, early forties, and you've got children, young children especially, uh, then th- and and both now men and women are responsible, are the responsible parents for children. So it isn't just a. Uh, uh, you know, on the girls club anymore. So just be really super careful if you've got children, um, because there are other people. There's other people concerned. Other people concerned. Other people involved in in, in the process. So, uh, and so yeah, you meet anywhere. But you can't. What you can't do. I don't think. I don't think you can close yourself off. I don't think. And we talked about this a little bit off air last week. I don't think you can grab a big li- a big checklist. And if the person doesn't meet every single checkbox, you. I mean, that person doesn't count. And you have to move on, move on to the next thing. I think that that's a person, frankly, that I don't think who really wants to because they haven't done the work on themselves. Mm-hmm. So that's a way to put up a wall or a fence. I think the whole I'm, I'm not going to settle the deal is a way to put up a wall or a fence because they have not really that sure of themselves yet. Uh, or there are some things, frankly, that they, they don't want to change. <laughs> they just don't want to. Like I said before, they don't want to. And we are personally giving you the freedom to not change if you don't want to change. Congratulations. <laughs> You're a stick in the mud. Yay. Happy, happy Monday stick in the mud. And that's who you are. And if that's who you are, it's better that you just be in a stick in, stick in the mud by yourself as opposed to torturing somebody for the next 40 years of their life <laughs> as a stick in the mud. That'd probably be better. Um, as he was saying about uh, children, that is a, a big concern because you don't want to bring children into... Um, the relationship and introducing people to each other if you're not positive that you know this person is stable enough 
or that this person um, may be a potential mate for you because there are men that have custody of their children and they you don't want to bring a, a female into the ch child's life if that isn't somebody that's going to be somewhat permanent. Um, you may want to um, date that person for a while but, and, and get to know them and, you know, do let them know you have children. Don't be, you know, hiding them out somewhere. And while you're dating for six months and then all of a sudden put a bombshell on them that I got eight kids. <laughs> what you going to do for my eight kids? <laughs> um, be upfront um, with with someone who is your potential, you know, mate that you have these children and that at this time, though, you don't really want them to meet them because pedophiles are out there and, you know, sometimes people are dating just to get to your kids. You know, we just watched a little football because there's football playing. I mean, there's a, there's a playoffs this, this week and the Super Bowl next week. Um, you, If you're in a dating game, you don't want to bring people into um, your children's lives in the regular season because then people come and go. And that's confusing the kids. Mm -hmm. um, you only want to bring in people who are in the playoffs, people that you may actually consider um, marrying, uh, who, are, who have gone through the regular season and have come out on top, and they're, and they're the last people in the, in the pecking order. So those are probably the only people that you want to that you want to introduce to your children. You want you want to wait uh, to see what you know what who flows to the top of that order to make sure that your death's not confusing your kids, <clears throat> and, and and you don't have you know nine or ten uncle so and sos drop by the house <laughs> o over the course of the year. That's confusing, especially confusing to young girls. So that's, mm -hmm. and it's confusing the young boys too, because young boys get, you know, get the mentality if that's how their mama did it, then, then, then it must be okay. Yes. Um, so <clears throat> you got to be really, or, or, or it's how their father did it, then it must be okay. So you, so you, so that's not what you want to do. If you're a, a person of a certain age who has, who has children, then you have to be really conscious about the people that you introduce, in, introduce to your kids. So. Uh, I would wait, like like Deb said, I would wait until maybe you've dated them for a while and you're a lot more sure about them. And you've been really honest up front. You don't show up um, <clears throat> when it's time to come over to the house and you go, well, I had to tell you something. What? I got eight kids. That, and they're between the ages of one and 12. <laughs> eight kids. You know, and, and, and because that's not fair to the person you're dating and you've not been honest, you've not been up front, so... Um, and you can't start off a marriage that way. I mean, you shouldn't be, be having a relationship that way. But um, so it's really, really important that you do that. I think. I think. It's, I think Debbie's right. I think it's really important that that you're upfront with um, the number of kids you have, and then be, and then it's okay to be protective of your children. That's okay. You know what? And be honest with the person you're dating. No, you don't get to meet my kids. No, I don't think I'm going to introduce you to my children. Um, why? Because this may be our last date. You may decide that you don't want to date me anymore after you, after you meet my kids. And then, and then then you go around the community calling my kids baby kids. No. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put them under that. I'm not going to put them under that pressure. And that's the thing. You may, you may not want to put your kids under un, under that pressure. Um, so, you know, again, if you have children be re, be really really careful. Uh, but be but be very very be be very very upfront. Um, so we got people, oh, look, there are people out there. Yes. Hey, is that Don Roan? <laughs> Don, Don, the Don of all Don Roans. My God, who else you got out there? Hello, Sharon, Ross, and LaRonda, Jessica. Hey, Jess. But anyway, so what else we got? Um, well, um. Because it's Debbie's birthday today and we got to get to breakfast. <laughs> Basically, because I'm hungry. Yes, it's my birthday. <laughs> 29 years old. I am Robinson Cradle. I, I don't have a problem with sharing my age. That's just, another thing in dating, you know, sharing your age. Uh, be honest with people. Um, don't, <laughs> don't. Uh, so if you're 67, don't be saying, I'm 42. <laughs> well, a crust on them heels say 67. <laughs> 
You can strike a match on your heel. Don yeah. says hello. Hey, Don. <laughs> I'll see you up at the but, Village Inn. <laughs> but um, just uh, be honest with, with people. And, you know, a lot of people get on the dating sites, and I think the young people call it catfishing. Well, yeah, catfishing is a whole thing where, where you develop a whole persona that ain't you. <laughs> You that, create a that. whole different person from yourself. So if you're dating with a purpose, um, how can you start off a relationship lying? That's just not good. Even if you're fudging your age a little bit. Like I, you were just, were just saying about my birthday, you know, um, I am... 54 and I've my, been 54 <laughs> and I look I look good for my age I know I do you look and, good for any age and so I'm not ashamed to share that you know people were like well how old are they? I'm 29 this is the fifth anniversary of my 29th birthday oh, so you actually have to do algebra to figure out how, how old you are <laughs> I gotta have a degree <laughs> in mathematics how old you are never mind there's no shame in my game so when you're dating on, on site or, or when you even meeting in person, you know, some people don't age uh, fast or people age gracefully and they look good. You know, you may look good and, and, and age is just a number, you know, and even if you're, um, what do they call them, cougars. If you want to be a cougar and you want to <laughs> to date, <laughs> and what a cougar is for people who don't know, that's when uh, a woman is dating younger men. And my husband doesn't care for that either. But I think age is just a number. I mean, if you if you're willing to date someone who's a few years younger than you, are are for um for men, you know, a, a, a young lady that's a lot that's younger than you. Um, be be honest with people. Tell them your age, you know. Do not put up that picture of you in college as a recent <laughs> picture. When your college doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> you got that picture of you when you were in college. Don't put that picture up on, 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 online, which is, which is part of the, and, and you know, and, you can, and, and there's some great online services. Um, however, which is why I'm reticent to online because it's so easy um, to not be real when when you show up um, on the date and at, you're 50 pounds at heavier the, at the village inn as your first date to have a piece of French silk then people get the real picture of wh what you look like and who you are so I, and, and, you, and you get that right away so you get to start off on, on a more even footing right away as opposed to that picture that you put up in college <laughs> where you look good and you don't look like that anymore um, so, which is, which is why you have to be careful. And I think that's why you have to be introspective beforehand to be, you know what, this is, this is who I am and this is okay. This is, if, if this is who I am, this is what I look like now. Um, these are the things I do, you know, don't write down that, you, that, well, I love going on long watches, walk, walks and be on, on the beach when you could barely get to your car. <laughs> I, I like outdoor activities. No, you don't. <laughs> If there's a couch <laughs> that you can lay and watch Netflix on outside, then that's the outdoor activities you like. Uh, because everybody wants to be in that circle of things. They like outdoor activities, they like want to the beach. And, and when you don't even like to be hot anymore, it's hot out there, I don't want to go out there. And that's the person they end up meeting, then I think that you've started off on an unequal and footing. And a lie. So, <laughs> You're lying. And I think that... Do th not lie <laughs> on, the, on your page yeah. for dating. Yeah, so I th I think that that's that's my problem with online dating is it's so it's so easy um, to not be entirely truthful. It's like it's like filling out a resume, um, and people um, beef up their resume and and you, and use words to describe um, their jobs when they're when you were just actually somebody who picked up paper in the parking lot. You weren't you weren't an attendant. You weren't uh, a um, a safety engineer. You were the person who picked up paper in the parking lot. Uh, but you beef it up to make it sound better, and you beef up to make yourself look better. But if you felt good about yourself to start with, because you'd done the work on yourself to start with, then you wouldn't have to do that. And we have Ernest, Ernest Uli, my hometown bud. 
Thank you for happy birthday, everybody. And, and Don? They have, Thank you, Don. Do you have internet in Monticello? A lot of people don't still live in Monticello. Oh, they got you got out too. <laughs> nice job, Ernest. Don't look back. Run! Run! Stop it. My hometown. Hello to my hometown folks. Monticello, I still love it. And we don't live there, though. Monticello raised a very good lady. If it wasn't for Monticello. Yeah, but you got out. <laughs> run, Ernest, run. Don't look back. They're chasing you. Run. <laughs> Monticello is a great Escape town. The movie Escape from Jefferson County. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back on track. Oh, what? I'm okay. I'm on, so, I'm on track. So, Straight um. The the dating the be honest on any dating websites that you are on. Um, I think a lot of times when the p if people aren't honest, that's where people get angry and they want to do uh, harm to you because you haven't been honest to them. I was watching. Um, I'm I'm an avid YouTube watcher sometimes, and watching this YouTube guy, and he said that he had put on a few pounds, and he was on this dating site, and he he agreed to meet this young lady and um they were both they were meeting somewhere like Starbucks or something like that and he had gotten out and was standing out waiting for her and apparently she had driven up and saw him because he was like 30 or 40 pounds heavier than the picture that he had on his website on his web on the dating site and she um she texted him and said um I think I don't want to do this anymore um, um, it was nice talking with you. So, and he said he realized that when he looked at his picture that he had on there, he would, you know, you don't really look like what you posted on the site. And, and people are looking for what you said you were. So, um, but just be honest, you know, if that girl had some kind of mental issues or something like that and she drove up and saw you like that, she might have wanted to hurt you if you, you don't look anything like you said you were. Just, just you know, you know, being honest with yourself um, is, is, is a big deal. But in order to be honest with yourself, you have, first have to have to be comfortable with yourself. You have to like yourself. You have to do the work beforehand. You've got to do the introspection beforehand. You've got to be able to look in that mirror and go, this is the person that I am. And although I may not, I may not be perfect, um, I work in that direction. And everybody's got issues. Everybody, especially the, the people that we're talking about, people who are maybe a little older, um, all and we talked about this last week too. All have baggage. You all because if you don't, if you don't have baggage, you ain't been nowhere. Yes. <laughs> you, 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 you haven't been anywhere. You haven't done anything. If you're dating someone and they're in their 50s and they say that they don't have any problems and they don't have this and this and the other. They're psychos. So Get up from the table and run for your life. <laughs> because everybody who is of a certain age who are in their, in their 30s and 40s um, that's done anything, that's been anywhere, um, has what, what other people might call baggage. Um, I may call it experience, but if it's not the experience that, 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 that you like, you may call it baggage. Uh, if I've got children, my children aren't my baggage. My children are my loves. And, and if you're not in the children, then they become baggage. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some people have been incarcerated. Some people got, got put in jail. Um, when We've they, all made mistakes you know, when in they're, our lives. You know, when they're in their 20s, but now they're in their 40s and living a responsible life. Um, that may be their life experience that you may call baggage. Um, so... But if, but if people, but if people come to you and you're uh, you're a little older, you're in your thirties and your forties, and you can't find any discernible uh, hints that they've lived anything at all, they have any real life experience. Yeah, you might want to you might want to reconsider. But as far as yourself, you have to understand that that's who you are. You and you bring you, like Marissa says, you bring you with you everywhere you go. Um, so what, whatever's good, whatever's not so good, whatever you're, whatever you're in the process of working on, uh, you bring that to the table all the time and you have to be good with that. And you have to be honest with people and tell them that this, right now, this is, this is who I am. Uh, I wasn't this person 15 years ago and I don't think I'll be this person 15 years from now, but that's, that, that's who you are. And that keeps you from putting up your college picture <laughs> on, um, on, on match.com. 
I just a picture from two years ago. I what mean, do you look like today? And don't tell me you couldn't get a good picture because everybody's got a cell phone, and that that's takes the pictures. and that's the picture that people want to see anyway. Yes, they want it's not, to know what you look like now. And don't use the, the great Instagram filter. Just take the picture. We have another person on, Who? Laura. Laura Ward, hello. Hey, Laura. Good to see you. <laughs> well, and um, what I would like for people to do, I mean, if you, at, at some, like you said, with some of us, this is at 9 o'clock. Some people are working. I understand that. But we're posting these uh, videos up on YouTube, and it will still be on the archives within Facebook. So if you go on and you're watching this at a later time, ask questions, comments, and so forth. Um, tell us what you want us to talk about. That way we, we can read to... them and ignore them. No, we're going to read them. <laughs> you know, I am going to read them. Well, that's, and, stupid. <laughs> that, oh, and, that's stupid. That's stupid. And I have, uh, I, I have a thick skin. I've lived a little bit, and so if you want to comment and you don't like something, comment. If you, I mean, I don't expect everybody to to fall in love with us, although we are. I do. Cute. I do because I'm right. <laughs> Just get over it. Get over yourself. <laughs> we are a cute little what? couple, but, um, but you know, there there's controversy um, in everything that you do. So we want to uh, to know what you want to talk about. Um, this is something that I have committed myself to doing, and I want to make sure that um, it, it fits the purpose of what God has me to do, us to do. Oh, oh I'm, I'm back. I thought I left. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I went somewhere. I wasn't even sure where I was. I, I was learned like, oh. this from the best. This is the, the, he's been doing this for years. And, I've been doing online radio um, and, and broadcasting since 19, oh, 2008. 2008. And I'm just Building stepping yourself. into the game 10 years later, but um, uh, God placed it upon my heart that I needed, you know, we've been in this, com well, a relationship together for like 32 years. Long time. A long time. And uh, um, not that we are perfect, not that we know all the answers. I do. But. I'm not, uh, tell, I'm not going to tell you because we we, I'm writing a book. Uh, we make mistakes still <laughs> and still have to go to each other and, and admit that, you know, I, I was wrong there and forgive and ask for better. forgiveness yeah. and we're going to do it better. But um, 30, we having done this for 30 years, I feel like I need to help some people along the way. You go through an experience for a reason. God has a reason for everything. And, um, and you find out sometimes why you go through things because you needed to help another person along the way. Reach down and pull somebody up. Yeah, you know what? And and, and, and any of you who um, who are who have been um, in committed relationships for a very for a very long time understand uh, <clears throat> that a lot of the pop you know, a lot of the pop psychologists and and the people on TV who who who've never been in, in a relationship for any length of time. I'll often push advice on people that, that we just all kind of laugh at to start with, and then we get angry because what they're, they're doing is they're pushing people down down the pipe um, of of despair. Uh, so it's okay to speak up, and if you're and and like Deb said, go ahead and comment. If you're watching this in archives, if if you're watching this on YouTube um, right now, uh, we're not live on YouTube. Uh, we're going to take this this program and, and upload it on YouTube later. So if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and comment. What I won't do, what I won't do is I, I, I won't disable comments. Um, but if you, but if you're disrespectful to my wife, I will report you. Just telling you, and I'm just telling you uh, straight up. But if you're just disrespectful to my wife, I will, I will report you, uh, and um, see if I can get you banned. <clears throat> but, um, but I won't disable comments because we do say stuff that that some people find amazingly enough is controversial. Uh, yeah, it's probably better not to knock boots before you get married. I know that's controversial. I know that's a big deal now. And I know that we just went from preaching to meddling. I know. <laughs> I, I know. I know. And uh, not that I'm perfect. Not that, you know, not, 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 not some of the things that we say now, 30 years in. Uh, we didn't do. That we didn't do. Um, but that's how we know that it that's doesn't how, work. That's how, that's how you know it's not the best way. You know, if you travel somewhere and you get lost, and then you tell somebody how to get to the place that you were at, that you went to, but you don't tell them exactly how you do it. It isn't like you're being dishonest. You, you're just telling them the best way to get there. 
So, you know, no, we didn't do everything. You know, and I, I'm not sitting here all pious, judgmental, although I will judge you, uh, <laughs> but all, all judgmental. But we're just, we're just trying to find the best way um, for people to get to where you say you want to get to. And, um, and we may know the best way because we tried the other way and didn't work. Yes. Or, or, or it was a lot more difficult than it, it, it had to be. Um, we have two more people on. Oh, who we got? We, we got Sherry Hill, Monticello. Is she still in Monticello? <laughs> I don't, I'm not positive about that. Hey, Sherry, that. you still in Monticello or did you get out? <laughs> did you escape? Did you escape? We have Anna Givens. Hey, Anna. That's one of your birth buddies, isn't it? Yes. Oh. She's not doing that at work, is she? <laughs> they don't like that. I'm going to tell Kevin. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for, for popping into our Facebook Live this morning. We appreciate that greatly. <clears throat> yes. So um, the, we're um, going to get ready to end this shortly. But um, I want to, uh, again, say... Um, Give us a like, give, you know, like us. She lives in Thomasville. See, she got out. You got out. <laughs> yes. Give, give us a like, a comment, share this video. If you know someone who is either in the middle of dating or who is uh, a young person that, you know, wants to, to get some uh, experience and understand where the, what they should do in their relationship, are we ministers? Everybody is a minister. Everybody. Is Everybody a minister. is a minister of the rec uh, 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 of the um, and I can't say the word now. Reconciliation. There is the word. There's a lot of a lot of syllables in, in the word rec reconciliation. Um, we're we're not we you know we're not pastors. I don't I'll pastor a church. Like this. We no. don't pastor a church, and I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to throw um, the gospel down you. Yes, we're going to mention scriptures. Yes, we're going to talk about our life because that's a part of our life and that's how we um that's how we made it to where we are is that you know we eventually committed ourselves to Christ totally and um and 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 we're following that path right now but we're not here to uh judge you if you're if you are in a relationship and you're living with someone or if you're doing things that you know that that aren't according to the word of God, we are willing to uh, help you through those things. Um, we're not here to judge. So, no, because I mean the idea is that that if, like I said before, whatever your path is, all all, all we all we could hope to do is to f help you find the best the best route um, to the place you want to be. Because and it may be because we've we've tried um, some routes or and seen some people try other routes that didn't get them to where they wanted to be, and we're just trying to say you know what this is this is the route that got us that got Deb and I here, in this place, and so we found we found that that was a better way to go for us, and it may be the better way to go for you, um, but like I say all the time, people are going to do whatever they do. Y'all gonna do. Y'all gonna do what y'all gonna do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, y'all gonna do what y'all gonna do. Uh, but if, but our job is not to tell you what to do necessarily, but to maybe open up your eyes to maybe there's another way, maybe there's another thought pattern, maybe there's another thought thought way. So when we say that we are committed to our, I mean, we're committed to our faith and we're committed to Christ, that works for us, and we find that that's a foundation uh, that we can leap off from. So it's it so it's it's a really good thing, and I think it's it's, it's probably the bet for for most people. Frankly, for the people that we've seen who have good relationships and have had them for a long time, one of the things they one of the things they have in common is that one of the things they have in common is that. Let me give the guys who are watching an analogy. Every all the four teams that were in the playoffs yesterday have good quarterbacks. Maybe you have to have a good quarterback to win. Maybe it's something they all have in common. Most of the relationships that we've seen, that that that, that Deb and I have seen um, personally, um, are grounded in faith, grounded in their faith. So maybe it's it's that thing they have in common that we want to share with people. Our friend Don, that's on now. Uh, the Don of all Dons, uh, <laughs> Pastor Don, uh, <laughs> has a um, relationship um, that that's grounded uh, that's grounded in faith. Um, so that's how it works, and that's, maybe that's the thing that gets you through the, through the hard times, the thing that gets you through the times where, you, where most people bail out. Maybe. 
So we're just trying. We're just trying to help. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to beat you up. I ain't trying to make you feel bad every Monday morning. Start starting your Monday with a crappy day. Uh, I'm just trying to trying to get you to think a little bit uh, about what you're doing and who you are, and maybe we give you uh, some hints and tips um, that will help you in your relationship. Because if your relationships, and especially your marriage, sucks, your life sucks. <laughs> it just mm-hmm. does. If you get up every morning and you're like, Ugh. what's the going joke? Happy wife. Happy wife, happy life. Yes. Yes. And guys, live happy. that. Live that. As, <laughs> as much as you can, live that. Otherwise, you want to take this electrical tape and wrap it around your head and dunk your head in hot water. That's what you want to do. Um, so, no, it's, it's, it's really important um, that we find ways to, to make sure that your most important relationships are the best relationships you have. Okay. You got and Anna's going back to work. Go back to work. <laughs> Make that money. <laughs> Make that cheddar. So um, thank you all for joining in. I'm so happy to see so many people are listening in and coming in. Um, hello, Lena. Um, watching and coming in and, and, and um, being a participant. Um, we want to grow this because we not only want to reach our friends, we want to reach other people in the whole world, if we can, and um, help people to, to uh, secure their marriage and relationships. All right, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. And for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. We'll subscribe see you. to our YouTube channel. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just, just look for Real Talk with Devin Will on YouTube. And subscribe to the channel. Very good. Like and subscribe and share this Facebook Live as many places as is appropriate or inappropriate. (laughs) Just do it. Now, you're going to take me out for my birthday? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We'll see y'all. We got to go. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.